Hello, today I'll be playing stage 7 in the Tour de France. I'm playing this with uh, Vital Concept BNB Hotels. And in the last stage, we lost our jersey, our yellow jersey with Pierre Rona because of a stupid crash. We're still sixth, but um, yeah, it's really unfortunate that we had to crash. Stage 7 will be going from Mio to Lavor. In real life, I think this was the Eklan stage. Uh, Wout van Aert won it. Um, I don't know if there will be Eklans on PCM, but I guess we'll see it soon. Hello, I just got to the beginning of the stage. And there seems to be a lot of wind here too. So maybe there will be Eklans here too. I'm going to put all my riders at the front. Uh, should I go in the breakaway? Not that many points can be won. And I want to go with Renault for the polka dot jersey right now. But they'll probably don't let um, Renault go. Because he's still 6th in GC. So I'm just going with someone else I guess. It's Chevalier's turn today. Let's Put him at the front and directly place an attack. Who is going to follow? We got Walscheid following. The German rider from NTT. Maxim Boué from Akea following. And that seems to be it for now. I'm going to uh, protect... Hmm. Kokar on a really bad minus 2 day and the Busser on a plus 2 so I will go for the Busser if it comes down to a mess sprint so I'm going to protect the Busser with <laughs> Gauthier on a very bad day so I'm gonna protect uh, the Busser with him should I also protect Pierre here Hmm, he's 16 GC, so maybe I should put someone on him. Pache, there you go. We are riding on the Côte de Luzançon. Three kilometers to go, so let's see if we can actually win these uh, polka dot jersey points. I'm going to pace at... 85 now. Uh, Walshite is a very bad climber, so we won't have to worry about him, I think. Boué is better than us. Let's see if we can actually beat him. He's not that much better. Only one mountain more and two hill stat more, so... It's not really that much. Let's see if we can win. He is a better sprinter though, which might be good for him. Let's see if we can still come around it. We're losing a lot of energy and I think we're not gonna... Nope, we're gonna end second here. Which gives us one point, I think. One point. Boe gets two points. I just accidentally took my energy gel with Chevalier. That's not good, because we'll probably need it at the um, next climb. The Pelton was pacing a bit, and we dropped um, way back, only 1 minute and 40 seconds ahead of that Peloton now. And some riders actually tried to attack away, to get in that breakaway. Langen is still trying to um, get to us, and Hugo just joined us. Breakaway is riding on the Col de Peronanque, second category climb. Let's see if we can win the mountain sprint. 1.7 kilometers to go. Hugo Ull is attacking. Um, I'm just gonna pace, I'm not gonna follow it yet. 
and I hope her, we can come over in the end. Buena leading. I'm going to start sprinting now, but it seems like it's way too late. Or do we still get a second? No, we get a third spot with Maxim Chevalier, which gives us two points, while Scheidt actually took the five points. We just had a crash in the peloton. Michelanda is down. Viviani, great sprinter for Kofidis, is down. Os, Rousseau, Cheryl, Tony Martin. It's not Nairo, but Dyer Quintana, the rider from uh, Arkea, who also uh, crashed. They're not that far behind, it seems, so I think they'll come back. Because I was concentrating on the peloton, I forgot that we were climbing the last climb of the day, and now I dropped back in the breakaway. Going to try to uh, get back. We're also three kilometers away from that intermediate sprint, so I'm going to give my attention to the peloton for a second to try. We are fourth in the um, standings there, so we might try something with Jens de Busser. Um, going ahead with Cyril Bart. Come on, move head. Let's try to get some points here. I'm going to start sprinting. Ooh, that's a little bit too early, I think. Let's wait till the one kilometer mark. Let's just start now. I think we will have to go. And it seems like Ewan is going to win the sprint in the peloton. And do we get some points in the end? four points and they don't show us these standings they show the young rider standings not the sprinter standings that's a little bit odd but i guess we'll see it at the end of the stage where we are placed now Twenty kilometers to go chevalier just dropped back from that breakaway and the guys from uh, Lotto or Sudal are really pacing hard. We got uh, the Koenig Quickstep also pacing here. And with the uh, heavy wind, let's see if um, there will be Eschlans. Doesn't seem like it, to be honest. Let's just try to uh, get, get our riders uh, as close to the front as possible. And we are going to make a sprint train also now. A lot of our riders are in a minus day. I don't like that, but we're going to try to get a good sprint train on the road here. This is what our train looks like. I'm also going to follow the bus with Pierre Roland to make sure Roland doesn't drop back. Let's go around 90 with Cyril Gauthier. Take his energy gel. Hugo Ull, last man standing in the breakaway. We are going to catch him soon with S Green pacing for the Koenig quick step and we are very good at the front with our train. Let's see if we can finally get a stage win. Will be very hard sprinting against uh, Ewan and Bennett and riders like that, but you never know. The bus on a very good day. Unfortunately, no plus stats in sprinting. Going ahead with Kenta Pache now. Take his energy gel. Uh, Gautier can just sit up for now. Let's 
six kilometers to go. I'm going to check the map for a second. It's pretty much uh, straightforward. A little bent here, but not really that uh, hard. Let's take Bart's uh, energy gel now and start pacing with him right now. Kentai Pache, you did a good job. You can drop back now. Reza energy gel. Procar, I'm going to take the Busser energy gel now. Roland can also take it. Wow. Markov already going with uh, Bennett behind him once again. I think they might go too early. Going to wait for a second and I'm gonna start with Reza now. Ooh, not good. Not good at all. Let's start with the Busser now. Busser, can the Busser win this? Can the Busser win this? Can the Busser win this? It's gonna be Caleb Ewan ahead of the Busser who is gonna take a third place. So again, just passed us online, but what a great result from uh, Jens de Busser. The third spot in this um, seventh stage of the Tour de France. Great result for the team. Here we see the ending sprint again. Ewan really... Um, seems like he was going from too far and we almost came around with the Busser but in the end it's again still past us on the line overall i'm happy with a uh, third place that's a very good result from a rider like the Busser let's take a look at the podiums Caleb Ewan wins ahead of Peters again and a rider Jens the Busser third Trentin, Van Aert, Colbrelli, Mezegic, Steven, Bennett only ninth. So they were too early with um, Morkov and Bennett. And Kokar, or Ryder, actually gets a 10th spot. GC still for Carapaz ahead of Buchmann and Roglic. We are still 6th with Pierre Roland. Climber classification is still for Jan Polanc, only two points ahead of Lilian Calamijan. We are 8th and 7th in this with Chevalier and Roland. Points classification is for Caleb Ewan. He's got 200 points and we are still 4th in this. The Young Rider classification is still for Egan Bernal. And the Quick Quickstep is still the best team. Very nice uh, stage for our team. A third place podium with Jens de Busseren and also a 10th place with Brian Kokar. Next stage will be a hard climbing stage it seems. Three climbs um, in the middle. We do finish after a downhill. Uh, that might be good if one of our riders is in a breakaway and has to recover a bit. Uh, I think that really is the plan for the day for our team tomorrow. I'm definitely going in the breakaway with the Busre again to try to get those points. But I'm also going to send one or maybe two other riders in it to get some uh, mountain points and maybe a stage win if the breakaway makes it. Unfortunately, we won't be able to do that with Pierre Roland because he's still so close in GC. They probably won't let us go. Uh, I guess we'll see which rider we can um, has a good day so we can send him up there. I guess I will see you then. If you liked it, subscribe and like the video. And goodbye.